the point I'm trying to get as it relates to us here is Saul's father had a business and he had donkeys and he thought he lost some donkeys and he asked Saul to pick one of the servants to go and find the donkeys. So they went, he went to different experiences, which I'm not going to comment on, but that has a relate to Saul character being built up to be a king, per se, because all Saul had for him was his look at that time. So he went to Ephraim, then he went to Cilicia, he went to um, Salim, and these are different, I did some study on those, but I'm not going to expound on those because it's unrelated to this particular <laughs> subject. The point I'm trying to get, he got to the land of Suf. When he got to the land of Suf, He said, uh, the servant said to him, in the city, he had said, okay, enough is enough. I can't find these donkeys. I'm going back home. And the servant said to him, in the city, there is a man of God. And in the literal translation is, there is a man who belongs to God. And then he went on to say, he's an honorable then he went on to say, whatever he said, come to pass. Three things. One, it tells you men and women of God are rare. They are the minority. You may have a church full of people, and how many of them truly belongs to God in the sense that their life completely committed to advancing the kingdom of God. The second thing he said, he's an honorable man. Is a man, the, the word honorable there means heavy, weighty. And if you want to look it up, the code for it is H35. 13, if you want to look it up in the Hebrew dictionary. Don't, don't, don't believe anything I say unless you check it out yourself, of course. It means heavy. The opposite of lightweight. So this man of God is a heavyweight. It's not a man that's easily get blown by the wind. So, and then later on, the reason why he's a heavy man is whatever he said come to pass. This is a man who means what he says and says what he means. Again, which brings me back to my grandfather. He was a man who was intolerable for people who did not keep their word. And as far as we are concerned as a Christian, there are many people, like Saul, who are out there searching. They may not be donkeys, as the scripture says, but the application here, they are searching for something. They are in clubs, they are in garages, they are at the lottery. I have a gentleman at work that he lives for is to play the lottery. <laughs> and he thinks he's going to hit it big and become rich. And we want the world to recognize where we work at, the neighborhood that we at, for people to know in this city, in this office, in this neighborhood, there are men and women of God. And we are heavyweight. Because what we say, we mean it. And when we say something, we do it. Basically, that's all I have to share.